Hmm, Shark Week has come up so fast on me. For this next paleolog, I'm just spoiled for choice. So many prehistoric sharks to choose from. I could do Megalodon. Everyone does Megalodon. Hmm... F*** that shit! I want to do something interesting. Let Discovery Channel, Hollywood, and YouTube milk Megalodon to death. What is up, my random ladies and gents, and a happy late Shark Week to you all. Since it's this wonderful time of year, I wanted to squeeze in another paleologue. I mean, why wouldn't I? It's sharks. These animals are some of the most adaptable and successful organisms to ever live on this planet, occupying different environments and different niches for millions of years, being around since before the dinosaurs. One extinct genus of shark truly meets up to this title in our topic for a discussion today, the horned shark, Hibotus. The name Hibotus means humped tooth for the shark's distinctive, differentiating sets of teeth that set them apart from other primitive sharks, such as sharp, pointed teeth which were used to capture fast, slippery prey, as well as shear and cut flesh while eating, the other set being flat for crunching shell and bone. Thanks to these varying sets of teeth, it would have allowed Hibotus sharks a varied diet of live prey, from fish to ocean-going reptiles like ichthyosaurs and turtles, not to mention it was unlikely that Hibotus, like any shark, wasn't above scavenging a carcass. As a result, this varied diet is likely an attribute to the success of this genus of shark, one of many attributes that allowed Hibotus to be successful globally. Not only was this success global, but it was also successful temporally having a wide time frame of the genus, which would make a vampire envious. Almost 200 million years, with specimens being found as recent as the late Cretaceous period to as far back as the late Permian. Yeah, that's a long time for any animal genus. However, despite this success temporally and globally, that doesn't mean Hibotus was at the top of the food chain. The top spot of top predator usually went to ferocious extinct fish, including larger sharks, and of course, reptilian ocean predators like Lyopleurodon. That said, the longevity of the Hibotus genus not only applied to its time range, but also the remains of Hibotus themselves, with the remains of these sharks being better preserved than most other cartilaginous fish, with teeth, dorsal spines, and even skeletons being uncovered across the globe. What makes this preservation particularly special is that the remains of cartilaginous fish don't particularly fossilize well due to the skeletons being, well, cartilage. This is why we primarily find teeth of sharks versus rare skeletal structures. However, in the case of Hibotus, the skeletal structure of this shark was tough and calcified in a similar manner to bone, which allowed the shark's remains to be well preserved in comparison to other cartilaginous fish. From these well preserved remains, we've learned much about these animals' outward appearance, such as the characteristic horns that sat on the top of its head. These horns have been theorized to have been used as display structures to attract potential mates. In layman's terms, the bigger the horns, the sexier you look. Not only that, but hippodontid sharks had two spikes sitting on the top of their dorsal fins. While the function of these spines is unknown, it can likely be attributed to either a display function or potentially for defense, similar to the Mexican horn shark, which oddly enough, features a similar horn mechanism on its dorsal fins to use for protection. Speaking of living to get laid another day, Hibotus possessed a physical trait that modern sharks use today for mating, claspers. Claspers are located on the underside of male sharks to allow them to better cling to females during mating, aside from biting their fins of course. Oh my god, so hot! This combination of traits from a wide ranging diet to mating strategies ahead of its time allowed Hibotus to colonize different seas across the world for millions of years before going extinct in the late Cretaceous period. Despite this, Hibotus stands as a testament to what it means to be a shark. An adaptable, efficient, and bizarre survivor. <laughs>